So we're at the infamous uh, Strewbridge, Massachusetts pilot again because I got to stay the night. Well, I don't have to, but I wanted to because I wanted to um, get some fish and stuff and hang out. I got to take this flatbed to, um, you know, where I'm going. Over by Albany, New York. It was supposed to deliver pretty much anytime because it's going to a stone lot. So there's a gentleman that got a hold of me after I'd made the video about the Shrewbridge place and he said, oh man, if I'd have known I only live like 20 minutes from there, I go through there occasionally with my Pete. So I reached out to him today and said, hey, I'm gonna be here for the night uh, drinking some beers, six pack wide. Um, just went into town, got some fish, then came back out. I said, get a hold of me or come on out if you want to. He said, I'll be over in 20 minutes. So I'm like, right on. So he's talking to the pilot guy right now because he come down and told me, oh, I thought you were in all this spot, the second spot. I'm like, no, dude, those guys were there. But I got a picture for him anyways. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do a shoot with him and he's gonna explain a little bit about the truck. He says it's a 1985. We'll start doing a little bit of roaming around here. On the show, on the Chad Tegan YouTube channel.
Yeah, yeah those look fresh. Those ones I got from a guy out in California. Oh, really? Henry the Elf, that's what it is. Got it. Got it yeah. The new wire and harness I got from Dirt, so on the front. I want to change the bumper out. I like that with those on there. Customs did the uh, the, uh, the lights for my dome lights. Nice. I ordered from them. 85 feet. 85, 359 feet. Okay, there's a place that I was just at in Richmond, Indiana. This gal has new old stock and everything. I just bought a bumper. Yep. 400 bucks. Yep. 420 bucks. She's got new old stock and everything. Yep. I'll see it. When I go back to get it, I'll see if she's got a bumper. She may have one sitting there that'll fit. Big fat one? Yeah. yeah, she's got stuff like that. Yeah. Was this like this or was there a light there? I took these off because it was starting to corrode under here and it wasn't uh -huh. attaching very good, so I took all that out. As you can see, there's the wiring harness in here. I just zip tied it in there. Yeah. Some of that in there, but I zip tied here and all across the area. But... Oh yeah, nice. Everything, they, this was in it when I got it. This, obviously jump seats original. Yeah. Uh, jump seats. I, I did all that. Matt. Matt, Matt I did it here, but I also did uh, the, uh, the foam under here as well. Nice. So, I just did the, I just did the metal in here. I just did all that. I had to replace the pin, the throttle, pedal, all up under the hood, the throttle and pieces I did. Not a ton of room in there, I bet you no, sweat it's, shop. It's, it's not, it's Bus not very room, but... Like the cab over. Yeah. Hit the horn real quick. <laughs> yeah. That's what's up. Well, I put that in myself as well. I built this. I built all that myself. You piped it yourself, have, that's nice. Out of parts from Home yeah, Depot. Yeah, copper freight. That's all I got from Home copper Depot. Copper freight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. This is, I got this from a... One of the job sites I worked at, nice. had scrap laying around. I said, hey, you want to buy it? All right, take it. That's what's up. Took it. So. Sick. Put the sneakers in and stuff. Yeah. Nice. Me and my daughter cruise it on the weekends. Yeah, I don't yeah. blame it. Do shows and stuff. No, not yet. I haven't gone any yet because I need the transmission has got to come out of this. Really? It's got a, for some reason, it's getting air pushing it into it and it's blowing it out around the back top half of the transmission. It's blowing it all out. So it's making a hell of a mess, but I need to get that replaced. Yeah. And uh, I want to put a 13 in this, but I'm going to Florida in about a week or so. I'm going to Florida, so I'm going to see if I can't uh, get some... Uh, do you guys have LKQs around here? Yes, yes we do. Yeah, yep. that's where I got the one for Frankenstein. I'd give them a call and see what they got. Yep. Uh, you might have something for you, about two grand. Yeah, there's another place over in, I believe it's Worcester, that has uh, transmissions and motors and you know that's what's crazy that's what how the gps says that but that's not how it's spelled yep. <laughs> i'm like i'm like man i don't know what these these towns and names are called if i said them being from where i'm is, from because this is Sturbridge. right and then there's uh, charlton uh -huh. and then it goes into oxford right and over to lester spencer around that area around here where is Foxborough? Foxborough is off of 495. Okay. Out, uh, it's the outer loop of Boston. I haven't, I, I, I was on there today because I had to go to Clinton. Clinton. Yeah, so I went there and I was, I had to drop a little pup trailer to Cisco, one of the little baby yep, reefers. I go in there, I go in there. Right and, on. um, yeah, I'm like, I don't, I don't understand this because it looks like you're just driving through the woods everywhere, but it's, you know, around the big yep. city that yep. you don't even see. That's actually, Plankton has down there the, the Plankton and Carver. Uh huh. Those are up, when you go down through there, those woods down there, you'll see a lot of empty fields out there. That's yep. all cranberry dogs. Really? That's all cranberry nice. dogs out there. Yep. So, That's what's up. So, what's your name? Introduce yourself on a channel is, and stuff. My name is Gary Proctor. Okay. I've been, I've been up here, I've had this truck for now on four years. I've been tinkering on it on the weekends. Nice. Work. Uh, I bought it from a man out of uh, Easton, Mass. Um, he just had it 
Bennett sitting in the uh, in the lot where he moved shallow flatbed trailers around for budget. Yeah. And, uh, so he used some of his lot for that, and it really just sat for since 2002. It's been off the road. And I, before that, whoever owned it before him was M P Corp. Okay. I have no idea. They're out of business now. I, I presume that's from my understanding. Yeah. Um, this used to haul uh, end up. It used to have the wetland kit on it. Um, all, that, all that stuff came off. Right. Baby, this is Dolores. Yeah, Dolores, nice. You know, just like James Pretty has a Dolores, I yeah. Dolores too. That's what's up. <laughs> I don't know if his Dolores runs though, does it? <laughs> I don't think so. Last I was down, I don't oh. think so. I think DD was sitting, boys. Oh shit, here we go. Come to the show, okay, it was a light like that. He's got another one out there. Oh yeah, I think it's big. I bet. Yeah, definitely. Ride it. He's getting out. Socks and Crocs. Just keep walking, white guy. You don't want any of this. This is absolutely awesome. <laughs> oh, 
fucking shit's in, insane. I am. How's it going? I'm Andrew. Andrew. Yeah. I have a, uh, I have a pretty lucky now. Really? Yeah. I just don't run it. Not yet? Uh, I'm trying to figure out the AC on when the fan will kick on itself. My fan don't kick on either. It doesn't? No. Like to pull it down for the AC? My, well, you talk about like the inside fan? No, no, not the inside fan. The engine fan only cools it down if you're going over a certain temperature. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It won't like, it won't kick on, I guess, and cool off the, uh, the like, as it pull up here. Well. So I gotta turn it on manually, and I'm like, I don't mind it. It's still, do but it, does it work manually? Yeah, manually. So your clutch fan is out. Okay. So that's all you need to do is replace yeah. that. Shouldn't be too bad. This classic that you came up and you, you recognized me. You tell him to get the hell out of the way? I don't even understand what he's saying. Did you, is he, he's a foreign guy, ain't he? Yeah, I don't even understand what he's saying. I'm trying to go right there. Does he know that? I don't think so. Like, I don't know what he's doing. I bet, I Go ahead and back up. Or is she backing it up? I don't know what is he doing. This is classic. Oh, my gosh. You know, we speak English. He go to there. You want to park there? I don't understand nothing he's saying. He's fucking blocking your spot too, guy. Yeah, like I just watched old truck pull out of here and I'm like, oh, yeah, you thought about all yeah, esperando. Move back. Yeah, you thought about Yeah, move back. You, back you it up. Go back. You go back. Awesome, dude. <laughs> you can't, you can't dude, that guy, <laughs> what, did he say anything to you? Like, yes, I'm back in that spot? No. What did he say? He, oh, he's fucking pissed. He, this guy is he pissed. He asked me if I knew Spanish. I said, no. I got Spanish translator on my phone. He asked me if I knew Spanish. No, I don't know Spanish. Not like that, anyway. I know certain words, but that's about it. Not to get me in trouble. What the fuck is he doing? These guys are insane, dude. Oh, he wants to park right there. Well, if this guy can get in, that's fucking amazing. Oh my god, look at this fucking bomb. Do you speak Spanish? Nope. Because he does. He don't speak English. No, he's asked yeah. the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm just letting you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. What's going on around here right now? Back there. Corporate has told us we keep letting trucks park over here in the entrance. Yeah, yeah. They're going to put up barriers and then close pilot down. Oh, yeah. They're going to close this location down completely and nobody's going to get in. Yeah, we don't want to do that. That's why you see all those trucks moving. And I see somebody else trying to park over there now. Well, what I don't get is why these guys fucking park right here. They're not supposed to park here. Uh, he was in the he was in the reserve spot and it took him 25 minutes to get over here and the next thing you know he pulls over and parks right there. Yeah. That's a sick truck, whatever that is. I know it. Good, Good truck, huh? Yeah. Volvo. Well, besides the Volvo, the paint job's cool. <laughs> paint job's cool, Volvo. Can't speak English and fucking driving in here. Good Greek moving in storage. Good Greek. Classic. All right, well, it was nice meeting you. You too, Chad. It's been real. Yeah. What's going on? Just jumped on 90 here. Um, headed to Albany ish area. Um, beautiful country over here, especially this morning. It rained last night a little bit, so everything's coming like there's water coming.
one. I um, I stopped in Ohio and picked up one. It was a $12 one, but I didn't realize it was only for cars until after I spent the 12 bucks. So I just told him, I'm like, well, at least we got one for the cars that we, we, we need to travel so we can get a discount because I might as well get one if I'm, so I get the discount. I don't want to have to pay extra, you know what I mean? It just makes sense. So I'll start looking for one of those and get one bought or ordered too. So that's what's up. Nice truck. This is always fun going through uh, construction zone on bridges. That old train bridge over there is the shit. Damn, this motherfucker's huge and long. Wow. I'm about, uh, I'm, I'm 8.6 miles away from where I need to drop this trailer, so. That's nice. Then I'm off duty. Then I'm off duty and can, uh, figure out what I'm gonna do around here. Google some shit and see what's up. These rivers look like they're muddy. It did rain like a lot, a lot the last couple days, so I can understand why, um, why it looks like that. God, when I was talking to Gary last night, I can't remember where he said, but he said you go somewhere, I think Long Island, all the bridges say 12.9, but they're, they're taller than that, and I'm like, why? And he's like, I don't know, they all just say 12.9, but you can go under with 13.6 trailers. I'm like, what the fuck, man? But I was talking to him yesterday. We'll get into it later with you, man. Jump on top of the truck and show you around. When I come back, that's what we'll do. So I just dropped off this flatbed, and this is the kind of stuff that um, was on there when I picked it up. And look at that. That's all that requires is two straps? That's insane, man. That thing's got to weigh a ton. Anywho, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to head to the, the local Walmarts and then see what's shaking from there. Uh... Try to find me a water hole somewhere I can go swimming or do some shit like that. If not, I'll find a uh, closest truck stop. I think there's a pilot not too far away, so at least I know I can uh, be a truck driver, you know what I'm saying, and reset. I'm, I'm basically resetting, but yes, I'm going to use this truck as personal conveyance. Isn't it just insane? Just two straps, that's it. This is a trailer I just dropped right here. The thing was all twisted up and mangled. I didn't realize how bad it was. It was 53 footer. The one right next to it's 48 though. You can see how much shorter it is. Um, I think all the ones that come out of here are 53 footers though, because I could have pulled uh, one of them green Premier ones too, which those aren't too bad looking. Um, if I ever need to rent a flatbed, I'd, I'd probably do one of those extras or a hail trailer. I don't know, but yeah, that's insane, huh? Nice little uh, $500 pay, paycheck there for, um, you know, 148 miles or something. Being able to sit over at, um, sit over at uh, Strew Bridge and do my thing last night and see those guys. So that's what's up. Oh man, what is going on? We're, fo we're back, folks, and we dropped that trailer, bobtailed out of there, uh, went to the local Walmarts. Uh, ran in there real quick and I got some coconut oil for my hair. I was looking for some whiteout so I can make some bills. I don't have, sometimes when I do power moves and stuff like that, they don't have um, bills of ladings because they just say, oh, drop this here in an empty lot. It's an unmanned lot. Send a picture and we'll take it. Well, the lady that does my billing for um, Treadstone, my accountant, I guess you could call her, she wants a bill of lading to be able to send to them, blah, blah, blah. So she sent me some... Um, some blank bill lading so I can fill them out, but I only have a few with me out on the road and I wanted to get some white out from Walmarts. Well, they didn't have any, so I Googled or I looked up um, some hair places around um, where I was at because I just left Selkirk, New York and I went um, north up into a little subdivision before Albany, um, not sure what it's called. And then I called great clips or some shit like that and uh the girl's like yeah come on in blah 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 whatever it's just walk-ins you don't have to have an appointment i'm like cool whatever so I walk in um i'm in line i'm like three people back and then uh, a gal comes in and she just was starting her day off named regina and um got my hair washed and then rebraided because i like it like this because it doesn't there's not a whole lot of wind coming it's not it, i'm not eating it while i'm driving down the road and stuff like that now i'm gonna have some flyaways here within a couple days but it's just what it is um that's why i bought that coconut oil to grease it up but man my head was itching i would have kept 
Kim's braids in because those things were still solid and I didn't look bad at all with them still in after um close to seven days I was on day six but man I, my head was just itching my scalp and it just needed wash so you know it's just what it is I'll see how long I can go with these in before but I need to get back home and see her because she's missing me anywho back to the point I I'm like I'm talking to Regina while we're in there and she's talking about streaming and I'm talking about YouTube and stuff like that while she's doing my hair and um, I'm like yeah there's this roller skating rink that's like uh, 15 minutes away from you know or miles away that I'll probably go to tonight blah 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 because there's a truck stop here and there's a truck stop here and the truck stop here is not too far away so she's like oh yeah I live over by there blah 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 it's this and that and I'm like right on dude because I asked her would well, do you ever go and she's like no but there's a you know one over here that I I live by and I'm like that's cool so I'm like, I go to the pilot that is like, um, well, I went to Jimmy John's first and got a sub. Then I went into Marshall's and looked around, see if there's anything cool, got some shorts and whatnot. So then I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna go to the pilot. I'm just gonna go to the truck stop now and, and give the truck a horse bath because it needed, it was freaking disgusting. Um, so I uh, go to the pilot, I'm looking around. I walk across the street. Well, I go in there and talk to the guy because I don't wanna park in a major parking spot if I'm just bobtailing and I'm like where am I going to be able to park just bobtailing and be okay even if it's not a spot for someone not to get pissed and try to kick me out blah blah blah. he's like oh dude you park wherever you want to bobtailing ain't no big deal so I'm like cool I'm like can I get beer across the street he says no but you can go down a mile road and get a beer and I'm like okay whatever so I walk across the street because there's a liquor store and wine store but in New York, the state of New York, they don't sell beer and liquor at the same, they're not allowed to sell beer and liquor in the same store. The weirdest law I have ever heard of. That is by far one of the weirdest laws I've ever heard of. So I'm like piss on it. I'm going to this Cumberland Farms pick up a beer, go grab a beer from there and I'm talking to the gal. I'm like, you know what, what time do you stay open till? She's like, oh, we're open till like, 24 hours I said when do you quit selling beer she's like eh like two or something I'm like okay cool when I get done skating I might swing through and grab another beer before I head back to the truck stop because I'll probably want a shower when I'm done I doubt I'm gonna want to go to sleep after skating even though there's it's AC I'm still gonna sweat I've been sweating all day it's 87 degrees here um I'm not too bad, but I'm still like to the point to where I don't want to climb back in my bunk feeling like this. You know what I'm saying? I showered yesterday afternoon-ish and then went ate the fish and whatnot and had a good time over in Strewbridge, Mass with uh, Gary and uh, anybody else that stopped by and talked and then everybody this morning that I talked to before I left uh, that was actual employee at the store come over here go over there do that stuff and then i'm going through this little town and i see an aldi so i'll whip into the aldi real quick because i'm like man i want to get some of that cheap red bull aldi sells that red thunder it tastes exactly almost like red bull it might not be as crisp but it's the same thing does the same shit so if i need a red bull versus spending six dollars for three small ones i got two i got eight for ten bucks so yeah three for six eight for ten yeah I, I probably got a better deal anyways i'm coming over and i hear somebody come over the cb man that's a sweet k100 so i'm i'm going and there's this bridge there's this train bridge well it goes down and there's this train bridge it goes down and um i see a sign that says 12 9 well when i was talking to gary yesterday he said you can go to long island and do everything you want to in that truck but the thing about it is, is every bridge says 12.9, but they're taller than that, so you can, you'll fit under them just fine. Because I was telling them about how I dented my stack, which we're gonna climb up there in a second. That's the whole reason why I got you out, was to show you that crap. Because we're just getting beat up over here, man. Um, last week, it was the fuel sending unit that broke that I still need to replace. I've got the brand new one in there. I may do it today, I may do it tomorrow. I don't know, it just depends how I feel. Um, you know, I got, I got time for my 48, 34 resets for, couple days and then there isn't shit up here for loads going anywhere right now so i probably won't be able to find anything until monday anyway so i might as well just make the best of it there is a truck stop um truck stop 23 or some shit like that that is right downtown albany that's right on the hudson river that i'm probably going to make my way to tomorrow just to have a little bit of a different experience and be downtown ish to where i can walk to places and be on the river and, and you know do that kind of thing i think it'd be cool But um, 
you know, it's just what it is. I'm here probably for the night. I, I doubt I'll move. The, I t went inside and talked to the people. I'm at the skate rama here in, um, I don't even exactly know exactly what town this is or anything like that. Um, but the guy was cool. He said, uh, yeah, just, you, you're fine over there. I'm like, is anybody going to say anything because I'm behind the car wash ball? He's like, nah. You, you're fine there because I own the car wash. You can stay there. It ain't no big deal. Just tell him I said it was cool. I'm like, right on. So I'm like, cool. And, um, you know, I'm just hanging out. I'm just hanging out, living my best life, giving the truck a nice horse bath because it needs it. But let's go up there real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. We're getting beat up here. Uh, these things were nasty from when I picked that flatbed up. That flatbed from going in there. I still need to clean in the rims and stuff, which I'll, I'll probably just dust them off. I don't know. I need to run a wash back here clean this up a little bit on these but check this guy out right here i've got this thing in here i think i'm just going to plop him out real quick with these i doubt i'm going to lose any pressure this is probably just one of those that's in there you know what i mean so i don't know get out of there come on he's coming yeah yeah that thing's sealed right back up so yeah, that was in there though. Good lord. Well, there's no bubbles, so didn't pierce all the way down. Thank God for deep tread and um deep tread and uh bee feeders, if you will. Yeah, you got some bee feeders on that thing, man. Thank God for that. I seen I got another one over here too that's broke off right here a little stub but um that thing's solid so it's just broke off in there and I don't know where I'm picking these freaking nails up at oh Jesus crime me there's another one right there too Jesus H where the freak are these things coming from man insane I really don't go to too many places that you would be pulling nails and shit like that out unless they're just on the interstate and the highways you know what i mean just insane insanity anyways let's climb up there real quick and i'll show you what i'm talking about that stack from yesterday um thinking about making some changes here because i really would like to, the truck to be a little bit shorter Especially if I'm pulling flatbeds and stuff if I'm gonna be running the East Coast And there's gonna be some low bridges that I might want to get under little viaducts and whatnot. I want to be able to get around You know what I mean? So I don't know I check out this right here This guy he was dented in more yesterday when I got to the truck stop It was straight in like this and I uh, took those pliers and I bent it out to where it is right here but I think when I get home, I may try to take something and <coughs> tap on that and kind of smooth them out a little bit maybe. But it's just what it is. So what's probably going to happen is these are probably going to end up coming off. Well, I got to buy some new shit first. I'm going to buy some shit to where it probably comes up to about right here. Probably some six inches still with some rain caps and just have them capped off. Because I like it higher than this. And I want them at least up to about here. Because I don't want them any lower than that. I want some, you know what I'm saying, to where it's still spitting back and stuff but yeah these things are just getting beat up because they're just fucking we're taking a beat and I, I i don't that just like really irritates me these have been on since 2019 uh, the the f the spring of 2019 and uh, they've, they've been this good. They've lasted this good. I mean, yeah, here and there I've had a couple dents, mostly on this side. I've taken a couple here and there, you know what I mean? But nothing like that to where it dented in like that. And that really uh, hurt my feelings and upset me. So that's something that um, I'm going to have to look into. But I'm going to get some more, more coin built up from some runs and stuff like that. And uh, get a couple things taken care of and before I start buying junk like that. So it's what it is. I still got to get my bumper and whatnot and i got a list of things i want to do i need to get the f out of here though i need to find some shit going down south so i can get those jakes put on which i keep on talking about uh, i need to hook up with roger one of these days i need to get that bumper uh, i need to be able to see my wife i've got a list of stuff so it's just what it is but um 
I'm gonna get back to cleaning this thing because pretty soon I'll be in there running around doing it. This place is kind of dead, so I'll basically have that whole floor to myself besides the handful of people that are out there. I guess the only thing I need to worry about is if my Crocs or tools get stolen. Shit, I should have went to the bathroom before I um, put my skates on. Fuck. I'm going to take them off real quick. This guy was here earlier. He's skating again. That's what's up. I'll be back. <laughs> Looks like I got a big ass forehead. <laughs> Man, what is going on, folks? I'm just sitting here in the truck. I just climbed back in. Went skating. I'll uh, come back to the pilot, slid through and grabbed up a couple tall boys. You know how it is. I just spent I'm I'm sitting here and I got a guy, he just he come and he backed up next to the truck and I, I got out and I was like, look, dude, scoot that thing over you're a little too close because we're all bobtails here. So we, we're kinda, you know what I'm saying, we're giving ourselves some room so we're not like on top of each other. So he pulls in and I get out and I'm like, he's like, oh, I don't want no problems. I've only been driving for five days. So I'm like, okay, dude, whatever. Just scoot your truck over a little bit. So I get out and I show him. I'm like, yeah, you're good. Back it up. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, this dude's only been in a truck for five days. I've got to talk to him. So I just spent probably two hours talking to Ahmed about trucking, how to do stuff, everything and he's like he's from Egypt he he moved to China he did some stuff then he moved to the United States he had a travel agency business that would do trips over to Egypt and whatnot and he's like well how do you do YouTube how do you do this and do that and I'm like dude here's the apps I use this and that I'm like trying to train him and teach him everything because I'm like dude he's working for this Western Express and he's like man they're not paying me I'm getting like 40 cents a mile i'm getting like 200 miles a day i'm like dude that's like 80 bucks a day and he's in a truck with no ac he's basically getting screwed and used and i'm like no dude that's not good so i, sh I, sh I showed him how to get on indeed and to look for local jobs he's like but i only have you know this much experience i'm like dude it doesn't matter you do this and you put applications out i said get your time in put some applications out and you'll be fine so hopefully I fulfilled him with enough knowledge and, um, you know, uh, just my experience and little things here and their tidbits to where he can get better off himself. Because I always try to help people out regardless of who they are, uh, their skin color or anything like that. I don't look at shit like that. I just try to help people when I can. And I felt like the trainer that he had probably didn't give a flying fuck about him. So I'm like, dude just telling him the basics and shit you know to help him out in the long run so hopefully he can get off and i did get him my phone number so i'm like dude if you ever need anything just call me or text me whatever and we you know we can talk and i can help you out so it's just what it is but yeah that's an experience that i i i wouldn't be able to get if i was sitting in northwest ohio at home because i'd probably be passed out right now because it's about 12 40 and I'd have had way more bears wide than what I did today. But I just told him, I'm like, look, dude, I got to go in there and climb in there and try to pass out because I'm getting tired. So it's what it is. But it's nice to make contacts like that because you can't always do that. And when I was at the rink, I got treated really well. Um, I seen Matt and his girlfriend on the CB and the Jeep. They they hollered at me. They pulled into the O'Reilly's. I talked to them. I went inside. The people told me, yeah, this isn't a 12-9 bridge. It's 14-1. I'm like, why the fuck is the sign say 12-9 then? They're like, I don't know. It's just what it is. I'm like, okay. So I went under it. I, I made it to the rink. I ate at the Redwood Inn. That was awesome too, meeting the, the daughter and then the owner. And, and that was sick. So, I mean, I had a, my experience over here has been great so far today. Got my hair done and whatnot, but it's what it is. So, yeah, get on that piece of shit, man.
rev it up. Get on it. Yes, what's up? Yeah. He's gonna run that truck, but hopefully it gets on it down the road and we can hear it. I don't know what you'd climb in. I don't know what you'd come in the pilot for. He must be going the other way. Unless you're coming in to get a Mountain Dew or something. Coming in to get a Red Bull or Mountain Dew or some fuel. Because there's really nothing good in there. I was in there. <sighs> I did take a nice cool shower and cooled down because it was super hot earlier. And I was gross from sweating and skating. and Ugh. Anyways, I'll see you when I see you. So I'm at, um, what town is this? Waterdam. Waterdam. This is Todd, everybody. He lives down in Florida. Um, from Chicago originally. Started watching the channel. He recognized that I was around the town that he grew up in. So he got a hold of me and said, hey, I'm actually coming up there to visit my dad. So he got up here this morning. It's Monday morning. I've been sitting here since uh, Saturday afternoon. And uh, I was in the Duncan charging up my top down. And he came over and he's like, hey, you the guy from YouTube. So we just been sitting here for a couple hours shooting the shit. And he wanted to check out the truck. So I uh, let him jump up in there and start it and mash on the throttle a little bit. Yeah. Listen, everybody, hit that like button, subscribe. Chad's out here doing it for you and me. That's what's up. Take care of this guy. Do the right thing. Keep America moving, buddy. That's what Keep he always America says moving. to me. It's amazing. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Oh, man, what's going on? Uh, just dropped the trailer over here. Uh, pick this up. It's Monday. You know what I'm saying? Seeing Todd. Found this guy. He was a little hanging out in uh, the little smoker's window on the passenger side. He was down in that little crack. So we're going to let him go right here because we don't want to hurt him or nothing like that. I kept on hearing him flying and she was trying to get out that window. That little um, side window in the door. And I kept on hearing something. I was like, what the hell? So I went and opened the door, checked it out. And that was him. So on to the next move now. Big shouts to Todd for coming up and seeing me on his way to see his dad. That was awesome this morning. So what's up, baby?